I don't know if it's because I don't have my glasses on, but that looked like a real dude just standing there staring at me. It's giving, like, it's really giving. Pay for my shopping experience? Like, I'm already paying for the product. Come on now. I, I might be fighting. Not them ordering the whole menu. Like, dang, come on. I'm hungry. Ooh, these fries look so saucy. That's hot. <laughs> Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, or even good evening. Curly Head Jazz here. If you're new, hi, my name is Jasmine, and welcome to my channel. But if you aren't new or you've seen my face before, welcome back. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Speaking of today's video, today's video is going to be a vlog of you guys spending the day with me. I have a lot of stuff to do today, so it's gonna be slightly productive. Um, I don't really have time to talk right now. We're kind of on a time crunch because I have stuff to do at, like I need to leave my house by 10 a.m. and it's 9 40 but I did want to try out these new makeup brushes that I got as you all know I don't really do makeup but um, I'm gonna try I did buy a um, highlighter I, well I think this is a highlighter and I did get this um, brush set yeah and it was really cute like I saw the beauty blender it was like marble black and gray so I had to get it I really needed this brush for the highlighter because I wanted to try you know having that little glow on my face and of course we have my concealer and my lip gloss that I normally wear. Now, I'm no beauty guru, makeup guru. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I just be putting stuff on my face. And of course, I can't find my concealer. I'm so glad that that makeup brush kit came with a bag so I can actually put all of my stuff in a bag. Because right now, it travels from my purse to my nightstand and back to my purse. Oh, it did come with an angle brush too, so I can use this. Oh, it's pretty stiff too. Okay. I can use that for my eyebrows. So, we're not going to be able to talk through this part so I'm gonna have to put it in time lapse because I have to go like I'm not even dressed my hair is not done oh speaking of hair I started the seven day rice water challenge and this is day two no day one but like the next day but I haven't put it in for day two if that makes sense so would that be day one or day two anyways yeah so let me go ahead and do this makeup first y'all so i've done as much makeup as i'm going to do i'm attempting to organize but it's not really gonna work because i need to move on to the next step which is my hair so i kind of like wrapped it three times i it was drenched so i put a shower cap or not a shower cap a walmart bag on then a scarf to minimize the noise and then my bonnet i can still tell my hair is a little damp but it did dry up so i think i'm just gonna wear it down for today with no product on it Ooh. Actually, no, I'm gonna put some moisturizer on it. Okay, so I lied. Um, I'm actually gonna put my hair up because I don't want it down and being able to rub onto my kind shirt. It's literally 9.56 and I have to leave in four minutes. So I will catch you guys when I get in the car. Okay, so now we're in the car and I am starving. In a previous vlog, I talked about this bagel place that I want to try and I didn't get a chance the other day because I was running like low on time and the place closed at 1.30. But I think the place closes at 2 today. Maybe 1.30 still, I don't know. But I'm still gonna be able to make it because it's only 10.30 right now. I did that little errand I had to do this morning, but I have plenty more to go. But before I start my errands, I want to get me something to eat. I am in a different car, so I don't know how this camera is going to to hold up just by sitting on the dashboard like the other car did but we're gonna see let's try it i'm scared because i like i'm on my driveway so i have to like go down a like a little bump okay yeah, no. yeah this isn't gonna work i'm already knowing like it's just not gonna work all these twists and turns i have to do nope yep y'all are sliding <laughs> Okay, so definitely not gonna be able to really like vlog and drive at the same time because of the whole issue in the last clip. But I'm here and there was no like really, really close parking until someone just backed out. So I'm gonna go park over there. But before I do, let me show y'all what just scared the life out of me. So 
I was parking and I don't know if it's because I don't have my glasses on, but that looked like a real dude just standing there staring at me. And I literally almost left and said, bump the bagel, I'm gone. Because that's a poster, but that looks like a real dude. Yo, and he just looks like he's just staring at you. Uh-uh, I don't play that. Oh, not the man in the back, please. Also, I really need to figure out where the mic is on this thing so I can stop covering it. I've been having to redo so many clips because the audio is like muffled. Let me go in here and get my my bagel and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. Okay y'all, so I'm back in the car after getting my bagel. Um, I'm really excited, but kinda iffy. Let me tell you why. The menu in there was really confusing, like, it, not for everyone, it was just confusing for me. Like, it might just be me because I can't read. It had a lot of different categories and stuff that you can do, and I think I kind of ordered the wrong thing for the concept I was going for. I wanted more savory than sweet, so I wanted to do something with like some bacon, cheese, egg, stuff like that. Um, let's open and see what I got. So I did get the bagel melt, which is basically the bagel with cream cheese, and then your toppings with cheese melted on top of it. I'm thinking, I was going for more like a bacon egg and cheese thing i got bacon and cheese um don't get me wrong though it still looks really good um the bagel that i got was the everything bagel which y'all already know about the everything if you know you know but yeah i got turkey bacon um he said cream cheese was on it too okay yeah i see the cream cheese i think oh, okay this is the garlic and herb cream cheese okay no so i did get what i wanted okay yeah so i got the garlic and herb did a seed just fly? How? Anyways, I got the garlic and herb cream cheese with uh, turkey bacon and cheese. I'm excited to try it. It's really toasty and warm, so I'm excited for that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Y'all. Y'all, wait a minute. Y'all, it's giving, like, it's really giving. It is very much full of flavor. The bagel itself, then you have the cream cheese, and then you have the bacon and the extra cheese on top. Chef's kiss. Anyways, I need to go to Sally's and return that hair dye that I bought. Cause let me tell y'all something. I tried dyeing my hair a couple days ago. Actually, no, it's probably been a week now. And listening to the Sally's Beauty Supply employee, she told me what dye to get. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got the dye, I got the developer. Mixed it, dyed my hair. My hair got darker. I was going for, my ends were already light cause I had dyed it before. But I wanted to do highlights, but I knew that wasn't gonna work without a highlighting cap, which they didn't have. So I was like, okay, I'm just dye my tips again and hope for the best. Well, my tips are darker than what they were and I'm very much dissatisfied like I wanted my ends lighter like I want to go up with the color anyway because I wasn't gonna be able to achieve the highlights but it kind of worked out in my favor because I'm gonna go to a salon when I get my hair highlighted so it can be professionally done anyways yeah so I'm gonna return the dye that I didn't use back to Sally's as she said I could so if I go in there and she said I can't I, I might be fighting I'll catch you guys when I get to Sally's this is your friendly reminder to drink water. It's very good for you. So I'm here. I wonder if they're going to give me a recent for this bag that I paid for. Because they make you pay 15 cents for a bag. Pay for my shopping experience? Like, I'm already paying for the product. Come on now. Anyway, so now we're about to go in. Hopefully, I don't spend any money in here. I just feel like I am. But I'm going to have the urge regardless. So I'm going to try and go in and out really quick. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I made it out of Sally's, um, got my little refund, and I was asking, I don't know why I decided I was going to ask her again after, <laughs> but um, I did, and she gave me some more advice, but quite naturally, I'm not going to listen to her. Today's a pretty chill day, so I kind of want to go look at, like, pets. I just want to look at animals, and I don't want to go to the zoo, so I think I'm going to go to this humane society that, you know, rescues animals and stuff, and just, you know, look, because whenever I move out, I am going to get a pet i've been thinking about it for a while and i want a shorty i think that's what it's called it's a mix of a shih tzu and a yorkie so yeah i'm gonna go see what they have i know for sure they have kittens which is what i thought about at first but i was like well if i'm moving out i want a cat because i are 
I want a dog because when I was moving out, but I thought about it because I was only gonna get a cat or a kitten if I was gonna have it at my parents' house. But since I'm moving out, might as well go all in and get a dog, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't have both, definitely not. So I would rather get a dog even though cats are quieter. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the Humane Society. I believe it's like 15 minutes away and take you guys in with me so you guys can see. Um, I will catch you guys when I get inside. Okay, so my visit to the Humane Society was very interesting. They didn't really have what I was looking for or thought I would find here. They actually didn't really have many dogs, honestly, especially little ones. It was like a handful in there when a lot of the cages were empty. And then big dogs, I don't really want to, I don't want a big dog because no, that's just not my type. And I also went and took a peek at the cats and kittens. Um, Still not my type of thing. I'd rather have a puppy. She did say that they were in like a little drought right now now when it came to animals so I'll come back and visit you know throughout the year up until my move-in date just to see what I'm looking for but I do have the taste for boba there is a boba place on the street that literally my friend introduced me to and it literally is the best it's literally 10 minutes down the road it's actually next to my old college that I went to so I'm about to head there get my boba I'm gonna grab my mom some and then head on back to closer to my house I also do feel a little hungry so I want to get something light and I'm thinking about trying out the KFC Nashville tenders. I've been seeing them all over TikTok. It's this one girl like she literally eats them like every day. So I have to try naturally like it's just an instinct. I have to try. I will see you guys when I get to the boba place. <music> So I got two, one for me and one for my mom. I did get the one I got last time, which was the mango green tea with boba at the bottom. And I did not know that boba was hot. So I was touching the bottom of my cup and it's warm. I'm like, oh, but that I forgot. You have to cook, you have to cook boba. Yeah, I'm excited. Y'all ready? It literally tastes so good. Y'all, this tastes so good. Like the boba is just so fun to chew on, but like the tea itself. But um, we are also on another time crunch because I have to be somewhere at 1:30 and it's 1:11 and it's about 20 minutes away. So if I leave now, we'll get there right on time. If traffic is not in my favor, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get there and then I will see you guys when I get to KFC so I can try out the chicken tenders. Okay, guys. Um, new angle. Who this? I'm at KFC. Um, in the drive-through. I'm next. I am going to try those chicken tenders. I'm really scared. Actually, no, I'm not because. I like hot stuff, but they're saying these are like hot hot. Also, my friend who works at KFC said that they discontinued them in his state, so hopefully they have them here. And I already finished my boba. And after that, I'm gonna go by the pet store for my mom and get her fish, her little goldfish and snails that she wanted. And yeah, I think that'll be it for out of the house things that I have to do and then we'll finish everything I need to do at the house not them ordering the whole menu like dang come on I'm hungry and I have to pee really bad hi yes um do you guys still have the um Nashville hot tenders yeah number 11 yeah can I do the combo three-piece three-piece combo what's the side of your drink fries as the side and the drink can be Mountain Dew yeah that's fine uh, at the window. also uh does it come with pickles yeah can you do no pickles please no pickle, all, right. all right thank you I hope they're not too crispy because I don't like crispy tenders but she's been working here for a grip like when I say they're gonna be here for ages okay girl not you dedicated to that Kentucky fake chick I mean fried chicken period girl you already got your food what is you doing I just noticed I did not get Starbucks today Thank you. Okay, y'all, so we have the food. Ooh, these fries look so salty. And then on top of that, they look like they just been put back in the fryer. And then I told this girl, no pickles. And guess what's on my chicken? Pickles. Oh, that's hot. Like, I could, y'all know like when something's spicy. <coughs> y'all know when something's spicy, you could smell it. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we got the pickles in there. Scoop them to the side. And she put extra sauce in here because she said apparently they're not allowed to put it on the hot. That's hot. <laughs> I'm so glad I only got three. We dipping it. Oh, that's hot. Oh, I'm scared, y'all. Uh, okay. It's not as hot. Okay, okay, see, it's not even bad. This is actually good. And it's not too crunchy. I'm gonna finish eating, head on to the pet store and get that fish that I was hanging out and <laughs> head home. So I just finished making the custom name bonnet that I showed you in the previous clip. Now it's time to make my hair product. I am going to be making a new product that I will be releasing soon. And you guys get to see me make it before I start selling it. Today I'll be making a blue spirulina hair mask. Blue spirulina is very beneficial for your hair. I will have some of the benefits on the screen. And I decided to make a hair mask because it's something I haven't made. And I've been researching for a while. Yeah, so I finally formulated a recipe for a hair mask. That is going to be nothing but great for your hair. Very moisturized hydration, shine, all of that. So yeah, let's gather the ingredients and start making.
Okay, so I'm back and I finished with the blue spirulina hair mask. Although it doesn't really look blue on the camera. Let me... Uh, still doesn't look blue. But it's blue. It doesn't have a label on it as of right now only because I am still making the labels. So therefore it will not be on my website yet. But by the time I drop this video, it probably will be on the website. This hair mask is very, very, very beneficial for your hair. So make sure you don't miss out on the first launch. Now that I have finished making the hair mask, that was going to be the last part of this video. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I really enjoyed having you guys come along on the day with me. Many more vlogs to come. As for this video comment down below any other video suggestions share this video with a friend and last but not least subscribe until next time this is curly head jazz and i'm signing out bye